to San Antonio, Texas, and Chance. Chance, you're on the Rush Limbaugh program with Mark Belling. Yes, nice to talk to you, Mark Billing. Belling. Yeah, I, I, I'd like Belling. to also Excuse me? Belling. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Gigabyte. Uh, you know, behind the scenes of the shows like these, you know, whenever I try to get through, uh, I am, you are always treated very, very poorly. Okay? The Mr. staff Lovely treats things. you very poorly. You're taking your opportunity to call this program and rip on the well, staff. I, have, I was I fully expecting real, you to call real, up and rip uh, on me, uh, but if you want to take on you. after the staff, uh, fire away. What were all the, what were the, so they were just terribly well, abusive to well, poor then you. Stop treat, then stop Liberal calling the so program, bad. and within 10 seconds, he's already finding victim status because the call screeners weren't nice enough. Well, let me make up for that and let me be as charming as possible. To you, what's on your mind, Chance? Okay, hello. Am I on? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, you know, it, it's a daily thing with with you guys on these shows. Daily. This is a yes, campaign daily. that you're waging against this administration, and everybody knows it. We all know it, except the so do I. Are, are, Who's they, denying that? People that are actually fooled by it. Who's um, denying they're, that? They're, we don't. Look, we don't support what he's doing. Look, I'm the caller. I will get my turn. It is very hard for me to understand why the call screeners had a problem with this caller. I can't imagine how a nice guy like Chance would have given you any any sort of trouble. Uh, by the way, you, yeah. you accused really? us of having a campaign against what the president is trying to accomplish. No kidding. We don't support what he's trying to do. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Am I on? Yes, you're on, Chance. Okay, uh, but the, the way that you guys go about uh, uh, making your point is always unfair. You, you haven't given this administration a chance from the very get-go. This thing, this thing the, the, the war that you're waging started even before this guy was elected, okay? And now the Fox News and people like you yeah. are trying to drive up fear in people, fear of his religion, fear of socialism, uh, uh, well, we are fearful of, of socialism. Of a, a, a commander in chief worthy of the office. Okay, we see right through your lies and your nonsense. Really, and we're going to stand up on, on, on election. Who day. is we? We're not going to back down uh, from you guys. Well, we're not going to uh, back down. That's a very good point that you make. You that's a very good point that uh, that, that uh, Chase or Chance or whatever his name is down there makes, and that's the point that I was making earlier. If this election results in the Democrats keeping control of the House with a decent margin, and they lose at most one or two seats in the Senate, guys like him are going to be claiming vindication. They're going to say, nah, nah, to the rest of us. They're going to say that the American people heard the opposition, and they decided to go the direction of the president. That's what this thing is all about. He's exactly right. This is a referendum on President Obama, and if his side wins, they're going to take this as a statement of empowerment that the country is with them. He couldn't, in his own goofy way, have stated it better. By the way, be nicer to him next time. He was such a reasonable guy. I'm Mark Belling, sitting in for Rush. I'm Mark Belling, sitting in for Rush Limbaugh. The uh, last caller, the uh, almost caricature of the classic lefty, made some points that those of us on the right have not given Barack Obama a chance. Now, I could suggest they didn't give President Bush much of a chance, but that isn't the point. If you believe in things, you fight for them. You don't give a chance to socialism. Socialism's been given a chance ever since Karl Marx started pushing it. You don't give a chance to running federal budget deficits at $1.3 trillion. You don't give a chance to looting the taxpayers of this country for better than $800 billion for stimulus that didn't create any jobs. Not if you have beliefs, not if you have values. As for giving a chance, well, it's now 18 months and counting, and the administration hasn't been able to find one policy success at all. If he actually thought about his point, however, if we made a mistake... It's that we don't hold Republicans to the same standards. The reason there was an opening for Obama at all is because the Republicans in Congress spent too much money. It was because President Bush, for all of his strengths on certain issues, allowed federal government spending to get out of control. You know, Ronald Reagan had that famous line, of he called it the 11th commandment, never speak ill of another Republican. Reagan was wrong. 
I'm not a Republican. I'm a conservative. I have a right to demand that individuals who claim to be conservative when they run go to Washington and don't spend like crazy. They trust the market. They trust the American people. And if they don't, they deserve our criticism. There are a lot of Republican pork barrelers in in Washington, too, and they need to be repudiated. If in your own state you've got a Republican sellout running, you don't have to keep your mouth shut. You can oppose him or her, and you can speak out about that. This is all about ideas. And those of us who have ideas that are conservative not only have every right right now, we have a need to express them. Mark Felling in for Rush. Thanks.